This is time for our health reporter, Haley Hernandez, to join us with what happened this week in health news. What you got? Good it's morning. It's like they already knew I was here. Uh -huh. We know. <laughs> so, um, you know, I like to come in and say that I'm coming to share my favorite story of the week with you. Um, and this week, Houston Physicians Hospital in Webster, they showed me something really I mean, it's earth shattering. It's so cool. And I know that you guys are probably like, yeah, she said that before, but I mean, <laughs> it is good to be a health reporter in Houston. We've got some really cool things happening, right? And so at Houston Physicians Hospital in Webster, they are using MRI guided ultrasound to treat tremors. And really I can say, they can cure it. I mean, it hasn't been around that long to say that this is a permanent forever thing, but right. I mean, temporarily your tremor is cured. Essential tremors, right. um, just like Parkinson's, the patient will shake kind of uncontrollably. They lose the ability for personal hygiene. They can't hold a cup of coffee. It really gets in the way of their daily life. And so we've got video of Kurt Johnson. Kurt Johnson, he's a violinist with the Houston Symphony. So obviously his career depends on a steady hand. Hand. I mean, he's a magnificent violinist. He showed me uh, a tune and I was like, what's wrong with that? You know, I mean, <laughs> a violin is supposed to be a very long controlled note. Sure. Uh, and because of the tremor, he's not able to control it like he used to. He's okay. developed ways to compensate, but it just still isn't, it really isn't up to his standards. Now, in the past, it's not like tremors have never been treated before, but in the past, it's been treated with a brain surgery that's wow. highly invasive. It's got a long recovery. You might have to go back in and fine tune it with the MRI. I am telling you, this is non-invasive. There's no incision. There's no anesthesia. There is no surgery. I almost said there was no needle, but to be honest, there's a needle for the IV. So. Okay. okay, but that's the only one. We're comparing it to brain surgery right, though, right? right? And the, the procedure takes about an hour. I'm telling you before the procedure, he's trembling, he can't hold his hand steady. An hour later, his life is transformed. I'm t this is Johnson. This is minutes after this treatment. He talks to me with his doctor, Greg Bonin. Listen to this. Oh, wow. There's a measure of control that you appreciate that a lay person you, you, you doesn't necessarily. But when you talk about, say, brushing your teeth, yeah. that's something everybody can relate to. Correct. As it, yeah. I mean, what was that like before? Well, it felt like I was going to brush my whole head, my whole face. Yeah. That I, yeah. <laughs> really, really, yeah. So I would compensate. I would then switch to my left. Or and You had to learn all kinds of ways to compensate. Oh, compensations and, and learning how to use my left hand. As a matter of fact, this past summer, I did a conducting workshop in Boise, Idaho. And I thought it would be therapeutic to go there and you know do some conducting. So I started with my right. I was like... I can't do. I'm shaking like that. I was going like this, and then I then I spoke with the um, the instructor. He said, "Well, then go go to your left." So, but still, that was frustrating because I want to, to conduct in the traditional with my right hand, of course, mm -hmm. my dominant hand. Yeah, so what you're looking at is him during the procedure. Several times throughout the hour, they'll stop and check and see how much progress they're making to steady the tremor. So he's a little bit unsteady there, but you saw that when he when he when he got the thing to do the conductor stick, I don't know what that's called, uh, forgive me musicians. Yeah, he was sure. conducting. It was much more stable. Um, a baton. A baton. I'm sorry. Conducting Thank you, Cambrell. Baton, yes. So Kurt now his tremor is gone. He's ready to start the uh, start of the season with the symphony, which does begin next week. Good luck, Kurt. Yeah, right. um, treatment uh, this week, off to the symphony the next week. I mean, it's just incredible well, you, you that they're doing he, this. When he played that one note with his doctor, he just put it down so fast. Oh, wow. His mind, you could tell he's yeah. blown away at the results. So what And he said, like, I mean, because normally he's used to, like, steadying his arm mm -hmm. against something, and he didn't have to do that anymore. I mean, he's now... He's back. He's back to that standard, that, that it's like freehand it's violin. Cool, right? Standard. Yeah. Can this be used to treat Parkinson's in that sense? Or so the doctor tells me that it can be used to treat tremor dominant Parkinson's. It's not necessarily all forms of Parkinson's. He says that Parkinson's most of the time affects both sides of the brain with essential tremors. They're looking typically only towards one side, and so right now the MRI is geared towards the one side. Um, plus, some kind of bad news is that Medicare doesn't really cover this yet for everyone. Oh. It might not cover it for Parkinson's. The company 
says that it does cover it for essential tremors in some circumstances under Part B. Um, but so Houston Physicians Hospital is the only one I know of right now. I hear that there's others starting to do this, maybe in the medical center, but um, you might want to just reach out to them, Dr. Greg Bonin, see if this is something that Call might be office, right for you. Find out uh, if, if, well, yeah, if it'll work for you, maybe yeah. if one of your candidate, I yeah. guess, and then about payment and, and yeah. I mean, that's I've, the one downside I feel like with a lot of these developments, we have to get through that time where it's like, look, we're trying this out. It is really expensive. Yeah. We wish everybody could have it. They can't right now, but we're trying. Yeah, yeah. I, go to my Facebook page. We've got more people commenting on that. We found out Joel Eisenbaum was diagnosed with this, too. Um, he says that his is manageable, but we started a conversation on my Facebook page that you can go check that out if you're interested, too.